So as we've mentioned today, we talked about bridging the gap, and typically there, there's always a focus on the strategic side, and the executives want to look at how well are we performing against strategic goals and objectives, and that's a, a real strength of the HP uh, executive scorecard. It allows you to have that balanced scorecard view, multiple dimensions, uh, and then be able to set up your overall strategic objectives, and then track your ability to actually uh, meet or exceed those uh, strategies. In addition to that, uh, organizations uh, really want to be able to then uh, view uh, what's going on from an operations perspective that's driving those strategic outcomes. And so what we've been able to highlight here today is some of the innovation that we've applied uh, to uh, bridge that gap. So I've logged in here to the HP Executive Scorecard. In this particular case, uh, I've now uh, logged into the CIO page. What we're kind of highlighting here are those various uh, personas that you can set up uh, out of the box and you can publish those out to the various uh, users uh, in, in, in your organization. You can also make uh, functional pages uh, so that the information is uh, displayed and, and, and visible uh, in a simple fashion. So what we're seeing here is that uh, we've set up an overall scorecard and it's more of a balanced scorecard approach where we're looking at how well are we serving our customers, how is the organizational excellence, security, business value, and then each one of those uh, particular uh, domains, we're looking at specific strategic objectives, such as uh, improving service delivery, improving quality, uh, improving uh, customer satisfaction. So I can look at uh, each one of those. In this case, I'm looking at uh, staff effectiveness, once I click on that objective, I can see here that uh, we're trending up uh, the score of one, or 5.5 out of 10, so definitely in a cautionary performance state, and I kind of want to see what's going on. And this is where, as an organization, you can map uh, your different key performance indicators to a specific uh, strategic objective. And then you'll be able to track the overall performance and attainment against that uh, strategic objective. So here I can see the different uh, KPIs that have been aligned to uh, the overall staff effectiveness. So if I wanted to go in and look at uh, quality of delivery, I could then go in and look at uh, how we're doing there. We're at five. Uh, we haven't really uh, improved, so we're kind of staying as is. We're seeing we've got an issue here with uh, failed business transactions, uh, so that seems to be the issue for us. Uh, we might want to look at uh, the trend of that information. So here, just at a high level seeing where we're at, I can then see the trend information here associated with uh, those failed business transactions. So that's kind of meant to be that strategic high level view uh, here for uh, the CIO. And like I mentioned before, they have a chance then to view that information across multiple uh, different domains and dimensions and be able to then look at uh, the associated KPIs uh, for each one of those uh, dimensions. So in this case, if we wanted to look at project execution, I can then see with project execution, we're at 5.56. So we obviously, we have some, some, some issues. We're definitely doing well from a planned work hours. Uh, we've got some problems here with project tasks uh, not being completed on time. Uh, we, we've uh, doing well from an issues perspective. Uh, we're doing well resolving uh, issues. We can see here that uh, we, we have some troubles around closing defects out. Uh, on the uh, testing side, and we can see that our overall percentage of healthy projects is, is not uh, up to our uh, thresholds. So those are different things that we could then look at, and as you can see below here, what's the trend? Are we trending up or are we trending um, uh, down on each one of those, and which areas should we focus on to improve performance? So it gives that executive that uh, view uh, so that they can uh, then work with their uh, direct reports to address uh, any performance uh, challenges. So that's a quick uh, view from a strategic perspective associated with the CIO. Next, uh, if I wanted to come in and look uh, at a uh, VP of Applications uh, perspective, I can then uh, start to uh, view uh, what's going on here in terms of uh, application performance. So here you might see I got similar domains. I might have similar uh, goals and objectives. Here I can have uh, different goals and objectives. Uh, and then I would have a different set of uh, KPIs that roll up into that particular objective. 
So here we're looking at improving quality, looking at the number of escape defects, number of critical defects. Uh, we're looking at uh, percent of actual versus planned uh, tests. So I've got a great visibility into that. I can also then look at uh, that information from a trend perspective. So it gives me a lot of uh, information here uh, right in uh, my overall scorecard. So this is kind of a, a more of a strategic view uh, for the uh, VP of uh, applications. I'm going to continue on here for the VP of applications. So uh, what I'm highlighting here for you, even though I've clicked on the VP of uh, ops page, uh, I have the ability to uh, cascade like I mentioned before. So in this case, I have uh, cascaded down into the uh, VP of applications. So I wanted to highlight some of the UI mashup here uh, if I were managing overall uh, application development, uh, the overall uh, application testing activities. So we can see here I could come in and look at uh, different information such as process excellence. It's going to show me different uh, KPIs. I can come back in here and look at uh, my improved quality. How well are we doing at improving quality? And then I can come in and look at uh, different types of uh, views and get some of that uh, real-time information. So here I'm looking at percent of actual versus planned executed tests. So those of you that are familiar with HP's Quality Center or ALM are used to seeing this particular dashboard uh, right in uh, Quality Center. And so this is the UI mashup where I'm getting that visibility of those details from an operational perspective uh, right here in the scorecard. And so I'm bridging that gap between my strategic and my operational here and right in one view. Um, I can also get a, additional operational views here. I can look at uh, the number of actual versus plan, and then I can get more of the strategic high level uh, view of uh, our overall trend. So it's a great way to uh, get access uh, to uh, the direct source system, in this, in this case, Quality Center or ALM, and get access to that uh, operational uh, performance measures. I could come over here and look at another uh, specific uh, KPI around percent of critical defects, and you've probably all seen this uh, particular uh, view in Quality Center and ALM as well, and I can view that information here right in the scorecard. A couple other things here just to highlight. Uh, one thing that we've built, uh, uh, one of our additional innovations besides uh, setting up uh, the UI mashup, is we've set up a UI mashup tool. So basically you can select various uh, KPIs, you can select the various URL of that source system um, and or uh, a report, and then that will automatically then uh, do the mapping for you and, and uh, do that, um, that wiring together for you in an automated fashion. So this way, in just a couple of clicks, you can set up that UI mashup, which we were seeing before here for the VP of uh, applications. So uh, it really streamlines your efforts in terms of doing your, your configuration and uh, kind of gives you more control of being able to do that in a very easy fashion. And next, uh, as part of a, a summary here, if you're looking for a, a scorecard IT performance management system, uh, that really can uh, help you communicate strategic goals and objectives as well as communicate the value to the business. Uh, this is a, a leading solution to allow you to do that. Also, uh, I can provide that uh, real-time capability as well as near real-time as we've highlighted today. The near real-time being the strategic performance, the real-time being that operational report performance based upon the UI mashup as well as uh, the Excelsius uh, reporting solution that we highlighted earlier. And then uh, you're able to really automate the capture and reporting of performance. And so that really gives you access to your performance information uh, much earlier. Many organizations uh, take them a month to get the information being reported. At that point, uh, you really can't use that information for decision making. In this fashion, you can have that real time or near real time uh, view of performance. Uh, supports all data sources, so I can uh, have uh, HP data sources or uh, any third-party data source, uh, as well as uh, the popular Excel spreadsheet. Uh, the solution is also available on-premise or on SaaS. Uh, we have a quick start implementation. Then we get organizations up and running in as few as uh, two to four weeks. So it's not a large BI initiative. You can uh, really uh, get up and running and focus on a specific area 
uh, very quickly, and that allow you to really quickly establish a baseline uh, before rolling it out across the organization. Then last but not least, allows you to have access to the performance uh, wherever you might be and, and which uh, site or location you are during the day to really track overall performance. So it's a great solution that's available uh, when and where you need it.